Hi, Bob. Sometimes Emily Greenwell can't believe she gave birth to this beautiful baby boy named Finley. Nine pounds and he was 22 and a quarter inches long. Emily has lupus, a chronic autoimmune disease that can damage the skin, joints, and organs. It can also cause inflammation. We'll see kidney inflammation, which can actually cause kidney failure in some situations. That's why rheumatologist Megan Close says for years, women with lupus were warned not to get pregnant because they would have to stop the medications that controlled the disease. I think we've now um, come to sort of a new approach to, to lupus pregnancy management. Dr. Close says keeping lupus well controlled during pregnancy is key. My approach here at Duke, I continue almost everybody on hydroxychloroquine. Also known as Plaquenil, Dr. Close says the drug has been shown to be safe during pregnancy. So I've managed about 150 lupus pregnancies over the past decade. So we have probably about 30% of our pregnancies deliver early. She says those preterm births tended to occur in women who got pregnant while their lupus was active. So in my experience, planned lupus pregnancies. <laughs> Emily was carefully monitored by her doctor the entire time. Now the proud parents of a healthy baby boy, Emily and her husband Moxie, say despite the lack of sleep, it's all worth it. Every day is a different day and it's been amazing. The medical experts say if you have lupus and get pregnant unexpectedly, call your doctor's office right away and tell them the medications you're taking because some may cause birth defects and should be stopped immediately. For more on this story and other medical information, check out our ABC 30 mobile app. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.